this lesson is kind of a spin-off from the previous chapter. Um, in chapter four, we graphed lines and we looked at linear equations. And in chapter five, we're going to look at the intersection of two linear equations, the intersection of two lines, and where that point would be. Because if you think of two lines intersecting, they intersect at a point somewhere. So this lesson 5.1 is going to take our idea of graphing and we're going to take our equations and we're going to graph them and see where they intersect. And this whole entire chapter is looking at different ways to find that intersection point using some equation solving techniques. And in this lesson, we graph them. All right, let's get some vocab out of the way. A system of linear equations is a set of two or more linear equations. So we have a system and that is what we call it when we have two equations that are intersecting. You could have more equations that are intersecting, um, but mostly we're just going to look at two in this chapter. Then what we're trying to find is we're trying to find something called the solution. A solution to a system is the coordinate point that is a solution to each equation. So you know how you can check to see if something is true by plugging it into the equation. What we're going to do for this is we're going to find the point that checks in both equations. And you can see this solution on a graph very easily because it will be the point where they cross. I'm going to call that the point of intersection. So example one, like I said, is very similar to what we did in the previous chapter. I'm going to um, solve the system by graphing. I'm going to graph this first equation in red, and I'll graph the second equation in blue, so that way you can tell the difference. When you graph a line, remember you need the slope and the intercept when it's written in this form. So we've got this form, remember from last chapter, it's called slope-intercept form because we can easily identify that the slope is 2, also known as 2 over 1, and the y-intercept is 5, also known as the point 0 over 5. So the way that you graph that is you put a dot at 5 on the y-axis, and then from that dot, you go up to right one. And you do that a couple times. You might also realize you can go down to left one. If you kind of reverse all the directions, you can get a couple more points. So let's get some more dots, make a very accurate line, and let's connect them. Now, you want to make sure that your line goes through the entire grid because you don't know where they're going to intersect. So you have to make sure that the line fits the whole grid. And also, this is really important for you to use a ruler. You need an accurate line because if your line is wiggly because you just freehanded it and you had a few dots, then you won't see the exact point of intersection. So I couldn't use a ruler because I'm on the computer, but you're on paper, so you definitely should be able to get some sort of straight edge out and make that straight line. Now I'm going to go to the other equation. And for this one, the slope is negative 4, and the y-intercept is at 0, negative 1. So the way I do that is I put a dot at negative 1, and I go down 4, 1 to the right, do it again. And I can also go up 4, 1 to the left. Oh, that's my intersection point, but let's draw the line also. And you can see I also wrote the name of the line. I put the equation next to it so you know which one is which. One thing I want to point out is that this point right here, this intersection point, which actually is negative 1, 3, is the answer to the system. It's not the picture. Remember last chapter when we drew our lines, we just put the picture of the line and then we moved on to the next question. But here, the answer is not the picture of the lines, it's the point where they cross. So you have to fully answer the question, which is state where they cross. All right, let's scroll down to example two. And you see one is in slope-intercept form 
The other is written in standard form. So you can do it two ways. You can either get this second equation in slope intercept form, or you can graph it using intercepts. Let's practice the intercepts technique when we get to it. But I'm going to make this green and let's make the other one um, purple. Okay, so my green line uh, has a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of 0, negative 2. So I put a dot at negative 2 and I go up to right 1. Do that a few times. And let's make the line. And now the technique that I'm going to use here is I'm going to use the intercepts technique. So for this, I kind of cover up this part and I say negative x equals negative 4. So that means the x-intercept is positive 4. So x is 4. Now I cover up the other side. I cover up this right here. And I say that the equation is 2y equals negative 4. So that means that y is negative 2. So my other line is going to have an x-intercept at 4 and a y-intercept at negative 2. Oh, that's actually the dot right there. But let's draw the line. And again, I'm wiggly because I'm on the computer, but you should have a straight edge. And the intersection is the answer. So the answer is 0, negative 2. Not the picture of the lines, it's the point where they cross. All right, let's wrap this up by looking at a word problem. Now we're going to do a whole lesson on word problems, but I'm going to put one in each lesson so you can kind of see how it works with the topic. Um, so pause the video. I want you to read example three underline anything that you think is important and you can see down here there's already kind of the equation setup guide so that's going to be helpful for us um, until we get more comfortable with board problems pause the video and underline anything that you think is important all right so i've underlined what i thought was important and now we're going to work on the equations. So the first equation is going to be the number of extra points, which I don't know, plus the number of field goals, which I don't know, and that's going to equal the total, total number of kicks, which I do know. So the first equation is going to say x plus y equals 8, because they tell me to use x and y to represent the number of extra points that I don't know and the number of field goals which I also don't know. But they do tell me in the story that the total number of kicks is 8. So now I go down to the other setup and I look at what they give me there. The points per extra point, which I do know because up here it says each extra point made is one point. Sorry, it's missing the word is. Um, so it's one for an extra point. And then it tells me to use the multiplication symbol right here. So I'm going to do times, one times, and then they tell me x. Then they give me the plus sign. And then they tell me to look for the points per field goal. The points per field goal is 3. Each field goal is worth 3 points. So I'm going to do plus 3 times y, the number of field goals I don't know, and that equals the total number of points, which they tell me in the story is 12. I'm just going to um, make this look like a more realistic-looking equation than we're familiar with. So I'm just going to say x plus 3y equals 12. So I've got my two equations and they're actually both set up in standard form so I can also practice that technique again. So here we go. I'm gonna um, cover up this x and the equation just says y plus 8. So that means for the black equation the y-intercept is 8. And now I go to the other one, I cover up this y, and it tells me x equals 8. So that means for the black equation, the x-intercept is also 8. 
And so now I can just connect those dots. And now I will tell you, I did a little thinking ahead and I just realized that um, the X intercept for the red line isn't gonna fit. So I have to use another technique that I learned back in chapter four, which was how to get the Y by itself because I wanna get this in slope intercept form. So the, the way that you do that is by subtracting X. So you have three Y equals 12 minus one X. And then when you divide everything by three, you get that the equation is y equals four minus one third x. Now I can graph that. The only reason, that, again, that I couldn't use the intercepts technique was because um, the x intercept of 12 isn't going to fit. And I already kind of thought ahead and realized that. So now I go to graph. So the m is negative one third and the b is 0, 4. So I put a dot at 4 on the y-axis, and I go down 1, right 3. Do that a couple more times. Oh, that's the intersection point right there. So I can just draw the line. And the answer isn't the picture. The answer is where they cross. So... Officially, the intersection point is at 6, 2. But word problems require word answers. So I have to go back up to the story and read the words. It says, how many field goals did the kicker make? So this is not what they want. If I said to you, how many field goals did the kicker make? And you say 6, 2, it sounds like you're some sort of like robot from another planet. So the number of field goals, if you read in the boxes, was Y. You see every time um, it said number of field goals, there was a Y next to it. So our Y value is the number of field goals. So the actual answer is two field goals. All right, we're going to do more word problems as we go through this chapter, so don't stress about the word problems. Um, and if you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.